All right. Well, I'm back with another tutorial. And the reason for this one is because apparently people are charging like anywhere between 15 to 30 bucks to create a custom logo that you can create yourself in like five to 10 minutes. And it's just grinding my gears that people would charge such a stupid amount of money for something like that. Obviously, yes, if they make the design from the ground up, then sure, you can charge 15 to 30 bucks. That would probably be a steal, but... If, if you if you have a design and somebody charts you this amount of money to create a fucking logo, it just fucking triggers the evolving shit out of me. So in this one, I will be showing you how uh, you can take a logo and then you can turn it into a glowing logo model in game. But I show you two different ways. There's one that's using textures and then there's a one, uh, another one that's using more shapes in, in the logo itself. So it's really up to you how you want it to look uh, in that case. <clears throat> One is obviously also going to, you know, take up more uh, memory on the client because it's going to be a bigger model. But hey, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So first things first, I have a logo and you can find a logo that you want to use. Make sure it has limited colors as a logo does have. As you can see here, we have like three, four colors. We have the brown blackish we have the green we have the white actually so that's three colors and that's it the more colors you you have the more it can be iffy but at the same time it can also be <laughs> in this case for what we what, for what we are going to do less colors is better if you can say it like that um if you just want to add like let's say this circle logo to a a flat surface that's pretty straightforward so um first things first obviously find the logo you want to use in this case i'm going to use this that i found online i changed a little bit to fit my uh, discord memes going on so we're just going to save this um i'm going to create it on my desktop i'm going to create a i did not pay 15 for this logo I'm going to save it in here as a, I'm not going to do a JPEG. I'm going to do a PNG just to make sure we have decent quality. I'm just going to save it as a logo. What I'm also going to do is I'm also going to save this as a DDS file. Um, so we have it as a texture file as well. Logo, just call it the same thing. So what we also want to do, um, in this case, we want to create a few textures as well that we want to use. So we want to, if you want to keep these colors, you can do that. If you want to have some other colors, you can also go for that. So in this case, I probably still have my textures from last time. Uh, some stupid tutorial. So we have neon green, neon something. I'm just going to copy these real quick and put that in here. I'm also going to create a new one. Uh, we're just going to make it 128, 128. They can even be, be smaller because they're just going to be one color gonna make this into just white so this is gonna be neon neon white the dds so there we go all right next step so you will open the browser and you will go to convertio.co and uh, in this case i had it on jpeg so we're gonna change this from jpeg to i'm just gonna type up here so png to ai gonna choose our file so on desktop we have did not pay 15 for this and then we're gonna take the logo the png and we're gonna click on convert so let it let it do its thing so this is gonna convert it into a svg file um that we can import into uh to 3ds max so i'm gonna just put this here with the rest of everything so paste that there and that's basically it with this we don't actually need this anymore so we're gonna open up 3ds max as per usual obviously open up games evo i'm just gonna go by the assumption that you have everything set up if you don't go back and watch all the other tutorials all right so this one is not needed for now so i'm just gonna reset my scene here real quick so like this, I'm going to go to max. I'm going to go to import. Just click on that. 
I'm gonna navigate into my desktop and I'm gonna go to I did not pay 15 for this logo. And then we have the logo.ai. So we when we import this, we have the option to merge with current scene and completely replace current scene. Doesn't really matter. In this case, we have an empty scene. So we can just go for completely. Um completely empty and then we'll go with multi object you can make it into singular object but multi will make it better because we can kind of choose what we want uh in regards to making the logo itself so you can see we imported this and this is what we have this is basically the logo we have here converted into a lot of lines so the first thing is if you just want this logo we can uh actually let me check so if you just want a single like if you just want the logo itself so in that case we can take these two i'm just gonna clone this so we have those shapes all the way down i'm gonna can i yeah, i can hide the rest so now you can see we have these two so I'm just going to go and uh, select this. So the square is basically the square of the uh, the photo itself. And then we're going to put an extrude on. So EX extrude, which we're going to make amount one. Might even be too much, but hey, we'll go with that. And then we'll take the circle. And we're going to extrude the circle as well. Gonna make the circle 1.5 just to make it go further up than the square. So the reason I'm doing it like this is because if we take the circle uh, and we right click, convert to edible poly, attach to the square, you can see now we have a model. So if I go now and I take my DDS file and just plop it on there. And then if we go and put it on the UV, UV map, then you can see it literally it's not the perfect fit fit but it's definitely usable you can see how the circle is on the border of the two colors so if we just collapse this too and we just select we don't want this box to be here we just want the circle there we go so now you can see we literally have the circle with the logo on it So this is not the way I would go about it. And I have a feeling this, this model is going to be very big. Uh, let me just make a reference model here. So we want a 555. Five, five. Yeah, you can see this model is very big. So we're just going to scale this down to like 20%. Should be all right. Obviously, you can always redo these scalings. I'm just going to go just kind of doing it from reference so this is going to be logo 01 so this is the this is the one version of the logo that we have uh i'll leave this for now and then we'll convert it into uh, a model we can use in game in a little bit all right if we go back and we have the rest of all of these you can see that we basically have shapes um that these are all like all of these shapes are from from the logo this is converted into an svg so in this case, we want the logo to be more modeled, if you can say it like that. So we're going to delete the box. We don't need that. And then we're going to take parts of this shape. So in this case, we want the outer outer, uh, outer circle. We want to attach that to the inner circle. And we, if we put an extrude on, we can slowly see how this is going to show up so if you put an extrude we're gonna make this 0.5 for now just so it doesn't look too bad you can see we now have the outer circle and then if we go to the inner circle here we do the same thing we hit, hit attach to this line here probably also want this and this part and we probably also want this part you can kind of make out how the shape is going to be so when we put an extrude on everything inside of these are going to be extruded so that means that these are going to be extruded. But this one, this line here is not going to have anything on it because that's basically outside the the shape. So if we put another extrude on this, I'm just going to copy this extrude. 
There we go. And then if we select his head and we just attach the rest of these shapes to that. Uh, same with his, with these parts here. Do we want his eyes to be a different color? Eh, we might as well, just for the sake of it. So we're going to detach and then we're going to paste our extrude. Then we're going to hide this real quick. So we get his eyes. Uh, yeah, something there as well. We might as well just attach that to it. Obviously, this takes a bit of, you know, playing around. So this is really on you. Uh, how, how you want the logo itself to look. So if we extrude this one as well. And we're extruding this a bit more because we want this to go above the other extrusion. <laughs> That's going to look freaky as fuck, but hey. We should maybe have attached this one as well. But hey, it, it's for testing purposes. Obviously, you can change this. So now we're going to take the text and ex uh, just attach these to, to everything. There we go. Just going to attach and extrude to this as well. So now we have the, the logo itself. Obviously, we want a background on this. So what we can do is we can uh, take this shape. So the circle shape, we can also just make a circle. But in this case, I'm just going to take the shape. going to copy it. i uh, going to hide the extrusion. going to go here. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So it goes out of this circle. Then we're going to go to spline. And we're just going to delete this inner circle. There we go. If we turn the extrude on. And make the extrude 0 0.25. You can see we now have a background where the different pieces are kind of extruded up from. So, next thing we want to do is, uh, I think I'm going to add another texture. So we're going to make a texture at 128. And we're just going to make this not entirely like 100% black, but definitely in a darker color. We're going to save this. I'm going to call it just neon black. There we go. And then we're just going to start dragging our uh, DDS files onto. So the background... Oh, sorry, my bad. We're going to have to convert these. So the different shapes you want to convert into editable poly. Editable poly. And then... Convert. And that should be... I think that's all of them, right? Oh, no, we have the last. So the eyes. Editable poly. So there we go. So we can we drag this one into the background. So now we have a black, darker color background. Take the white on the uh, the lines. We do the green on these, and on the baby Yoda itself. And then for the eyes, we're gonna make those this pink color. I think in this case we might wanna. I think I'm just gonna remove this piece that looked kind of odd having it in the middle. So we're just gonna remove that. So there we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. Obviously you can fine tune this, but it is decent. So we're gonna click uh, back on edible polar. We are selecting the background. Doesn't matter which piece you select. We're gonna attach everything to this one. And when it asks you about this, you just click on yes. So we're attaching everything. There we go. I'm just going to rename it to logo underscore two. Then we hide it. So that's all of them. All right. We're going to position this back to zero, zero, zero. We have everything like this. You might want to clean up. So yeah, we might as well do that. So we're going to clean up the background because the background is probably never going to be seen or should never be seen. So I'm just going to select everything on the back and just delete it to clean up the mesh and remove some of the unnecessary polys. So there we go. I might even extend 
the uh, the circle, like this circle, a little bit. I'm gonna move it down so we have a little bit more wiggle room when we want to place it. There we go. And then if we unhide the other logo we made, you can see we need to definitely scale this down as well. So we're just gonna make it this size. So you can already see the difference between these two. This one has a bit more shape to it, whereas this other one is just a flat image. So I'm going to hide this. And then what we want to do is click on the uh, logo we just created in GIMS, and then we go to Material Editor. You can see we have the different colors. It's even using the same colors uh, twice, which is fine. Um, we can fix that. But in tools, if you click on convert materials to game type, it's going to convert all of these into actual materials. And then from there, we go into them and we, uh, we uh, change the shader to the emissive shader and then just to emissive. And then for the emissive HDR multiplier, we want to... We're just going to make 10. It's still going to be very bright. So we're going to do this for all of these. Oh. Make that zero. Uh, emissive. Also need to make sure we embed these, but we can do that with the uh, tool over here as well. So we'll do that after. So emissive, emissive, 10, option, uh, emissive, emissive, 10, and then emissive, emissive, 10. All right, there we go. So that should be good. Just hit enter to make sure it's all good. And then we click on the embed game material textures. That's going to make it so all of these textures we're using on this is going to be embedded. Um, also, we want to make sure just to disable transparency to not make it look weird. All right. Like last time, obviously what you can do as well is you can go into your edible poly, go into polygon mode, and then you can go to select ID. So you can see if we select ID one, that's the background. Select ID two, that's the rim or the outer rim. And then uh, three is going to be the text. So if we wanted the text to be, let's say, actually, let's do that. Let's make the stars uh, the pink neon color. So we're going to set change the set ID to, nope, not five. What is that? Six. Okay, so we're changing it to six. There we go. We want to change the heart up here to white. So we're going to make that number four. So there we go. So that you can play around with these colors. That's why I told you from the get go, make sure you're limiting the amount of colors you have. Unless you do it the other way where you just kind of apply a texture to it. So obviously for the for this logo, we need to do the same thing. Convert to materials of game type and then embed game type materials. There we go. Easy as one, two, three. All right. Next step, we want to turn these into the usual format. Uh, so we can use them in in GTA. So we're gonna go to create object. We are gonna go to models. We're gonna apply a game mesh modifier to both of these, and then we're gonna create two models. Uh, so this one is gonna be called logo underscore one. This one is logo underscore two. Whoops, that's not a two. Underscore two. So we take logo one, put that in here like last time, and we take logo two and put that in there. Now they're both inside of the, uh, I don't know what you call these, uh, dictionary or model containers might be the correct word. All right, so now we have both of these. Uh, they should be all right. We're not gonna do any embedding or collision embedding. If you wanna do that, I have a tutorial on how to embed collision. Obviously for something like this, you don't wanna copy the entire like model, you just wanna put a box with a rough collision on, which is probably going to be the better option. Or you can do it with a cylinder or something that, that fits the shape without being too high poly. <clears throat> All right. 
So we should be pretty much done to with this part. So we can export. We can go to this and we're going to create a folder called output. And we have local one and we have local two. So what we can do is we can open up um, our Y type creator. And then we can go to our white type. So I'm just going to clean all of these up. These are old XML exports that I do not need anymore. So I'm just going to delete these. So, all right, export is done. So in our white type creator, we're going to do the same as always. Open, open, go to our desktop. I did not pay. And then we're going to select one, calculate, import just models, whatever you want to call it. No embedded collision this time. Using external textures is not used. And for flags, we're just going to do zero. HD, just put this to 100. LOD distance, 200. Custom name, uh, logo, tutorial. I think we don't have this. So logo, tutorial. Click on OK. Create on create. There we go. And... Just because this tool is a messed up tool in general, we're just going to close this. We're going to open it again. Click on open and then we're going to select logo number two. Calculate, import, models, flags, zero, LOD, 200. And this time we're just going to create, uh, click on create. And then we're going to click on view creative Y type. We're going to copy the item so from item to item so in this case that's here so you can see items item item uh i can't right click so control c and then in our white type creator folder we have the logo tutorial white type xml go to edit and then we uh, paste the second one below the first one so item to item and then item to item and then we save this there we go we open, we open, open IV. And if you don't know how to create a DLC folder or a mod folder, suggest you go back and watch. I believe that's part one. So it's my first tutorial. So you go back and watch that one. In this case, I'm just going to use my test folder where I already have the neon tutorial from last time. <clears throat> so we take logo tutorial dot Y type, drag that in here. So now we have that logo tutorial Y type, and then we take our outputs. So logo one, and logo two, and drag that in here. So if we open logo one, you can see, same as last time, we might have to redo the uh, normal. We might as well do that now. You can see we have <clears throat> the logo with just the texture on it. And then for this one, we have the uh, the more advanced looking one where it creates its own mesh it's a it's a it's, this is a mess in itself it's very high poly as well so but hey this is what people want so just to fix this what we're going to do is we're going to hide these real quick i'm going to go import and import both logos uh, let's let it do its thing So this, this tutorial is going to be a bit lengthy, but that's because apparently I need to go through every single step of everything for people to understand. So we're going to go into vertex mode, <clears throat> control A and select everything. On the weld, we're going to do 0, zero, zero like this. We're going to go into polygon mode and then we're going to go clear all auto smooth. In this case, it's not going to make much of a difference. Then we hide this. We uh, go to the other logo and we do the exact same thing. So we select everything. Weld everything with zero, 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 zero. Go to uh, polygon, select everything, clear all, auto smooth. And then we just export. So these two are the uh, original ones. So we're just gonna not export those. And then we're gonna take the two, two new ones that we want to export. It, it always go when like something was added. So you can kind of figure out when something, what, what something is, even though it has the same name. So logo one and two. And then when that's done. Okay, 
So like I said last time, this can take anywhere from 10 seconds to 10 minutes sometimes. So if your thing stops working, just leave it. Let the let it do its thing. All right. So there we go. Logo one and two. I'm gonna put this into Open IV. There we go. <clears throat> and we have the other one. All right. So if we open up Code Walker. And apparently I forgot to mention this last time, but as always, make sure you have enable mods and enable DLC. Enable DLC doesn't matter as much as enable mods, but just make sure you have both of them in an MP heist. So, so everything will show up. All right. So, as per usual, hitting T, we get the menu. We're going to create a new Y map. Uh, new Y map. So there we go. And then we're going to do new entity. And we want to do logo. Also make sure no upper case. Oof, this is a <laughs> this is fine. Alright. So let's rotate this a little bit so it fits. And we're just gonna place this. What the fuck do we want to place this? We're gonna place it on this black building over here. Just so we can see. So in this case we don't have any embedded collision, so if we wanted to, we could scale these up for a bigger size, but I'm going to leave this one and then I'm going to clone it and then we're going to change to logo number two. <clears throat> so there we go. Going to move this out a little bit. And I think in logo number two, we want to scale up just for shits and giggles. Ooh, that's a little bit big. All right. So there we go. Maybe scale this one up a little bit as well, so we have the details. There we go. I'm gonna move them out of the way so they don't interact, like they don't overlap when it comes to the glowing. So, <clears throat> as per usual, you wanna save your Y map. In this case, I'm gonna save it in my desktop. I did not pay for this. I'm gonna save it as logo underscore or tutorial. Uh, I don't care about saving the project, but I do care about Closing the uh, Y map and then we open it back up and we go to manifest generator. Make sure it has a logo tutorial and logo tutorial. Save the manifest. We're just going to save it the same place. And there we go. Now, oh, never mind. As for all, as always, calculate extents. Also, you do, normally don't want this, but if you do want these logos to show up at a longer, like further distance, if you enable LOD as a flag and then you can go to the logos and you can set the LOD distance to, let's say, I'm just going to make them a thousand. This is not something you want to do usually because you want these to unload unless you have LOD. So we're just going to set these two to 1000 and save the save the Y map with the LOD flag enabled. Make sure if, if you click on calculate all flags, it will turn it back to one. So just make sure you click on LOD save and we're just going to close code walker and then we're going to take our logo tutorial and logo one and two we're just going to put these in here so now we have these uh these five files we have logo one and two we have the y map we have the y type and we have the manifest so i'm just going to copy all these files go into our server as per usual, just the usual streaming. So for me, it's, I'm just gonna put it in this in this file again. I'm gonna remove this from last time. And I'm gonna paste. Actually, what you can do is you can paste this. Uh, and then the manifest file, you wanna rename. Uh, so we rename the manifest to manifest and then put a two at the end and then copy that in here. That means that you can have multiple manifests. You can keep adding a number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and so on and so forth and still have the same, <clears throat> have a manifest in the same folder. So now you, I'm going to be able to load both of these. So the tutorial from last time is going to be loaded and this tutorial. So 
if we fire up the uh, the good old Serena. We should be good to go. All right. So I make sure I load up GG as well. Gonna switch over to game capture. There we go. And before you ask about this, having a console in the lower left is min uh, con underscore mini con channels. And then if you do space star, it will just output everything in, in the lower left. You can also do specific things you wanted to do. So uh, I don't remember the specific, but I believe it's like script and then like this. It means it will only output all the script errors or script outputs. And you can, yeah, you can play around with it. But just, uh, I know people keep asking about it. So we have this Yoda socks from last time. You can already already see we have the uh, the baby Yoda socks. And I'm an idiot because I didn't apply our uh, emissive to the baby Yoda socks. Anyways, you can see the other one is there and it glows and it looks like an actual logo. Whereas this one is more of a, you can see it's a, it's just a flat image on a, Obviously, this one is better performance-wise than this one is, because this one is going to kick, like, kill people's performance. But hey, that's pretty much it. That's how you create a logo. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and I, I don't know why people would pay 15 to 30 bucks for something like this. Uh, so yeah, have fun, enjoy, and don't get scammed by people doing five minutes of work, please. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.